Hi and thank you for joining our Dash Trader Tips video. Today's video will be covering placing trades via charts. With Dash Hotkey functions, you're now able to place trades directly through the charts. With the stroke of a hotkey and a click of a mouse, you can set a market, limit, or stop orders for fast and easy trading. The setup involves just two steps and can be completed in just a couple minutes. In this video, we'll walk you through the setup process and show you some examples of the types of chart trading orders that you can send. Setup. There are two steps involved in getting your platform ready for chart trading. One, enabling your charts, and two, creating your hotkeys. To configure your charts for chart trading, do a right click, select config area, then area config to bring up your chart area config window. Then go down and place a check next to show orders and enable order entry order line movement. This will configure your charts to show orders and also allow you to edit your orders directly in the chart by clicking and dragging the lines or arrows associated with the order. Once that's set, click on commit and now your chart is configured for chart trading. Next step in the setup process is to create your hotkeys. To do this, go to setup, select hotkeys to bring up your hotkey configuration window. Click on add new item to bring up your hotkey script builder window. Then navigate down to command categories and select chart window. Under subcategories, click on chart order to bring up the available commands and click on new order. Looking over in the tip window, it'll give you a brief description of this command and the supported order types. Here you can see that it supports market, limit, stop market, stop limit, and range orders. To help illustrate the functionality of this feature, we'll start off with a regular limit order. Looking down in the next paragraph, we see an example of the format that the script needs to be in. Using this, we'll go up to the script field and start typing our script, starting with account equals my account, which is trdemoDJ, put a semicolon. Next, we'll enter the route, which for this example, I'll do a limit order. My version of DAS supports the limit route, but traders need to make sure that they input a route that their version of DAS supports. They can either put limit or put in a route that ends in L, which indicates a limit order. Next, I'll input our shares, and you could either input a specific amount of shares or type input, which will allow you to define your shares on the chart. I'll end that with a semicolon, and I'll set my time and force to day, semicolon, and then I'll end it with new order, one word, space limit. Note that we haven't defined the buy or sell action, and I'll show you why shortly when we move to the charts. Since our script is finished, I'll assign it a hotkey and give it a name and click on commit. Here you can see that our hotkey is created and ready to go. Remember to click on OK to save this to your hotkey list and exit out of the window. Now that we have everything set, we can click to select our chart and strike our hotkey. You can see that we're now prompted to input the number of shares. For this example, I'll put in 150. Next, you can see an L next to our cursor arrow. This indicates that the next step is clicking on the limit price. Now, if you recall, we didn't indicate a buy or sell in the script. The reason being is that the action, the buy or sell, will be determined by the location on the chart that you click on relative to the current market. Clicking below the current market price will send a buy order, while clicking above the market will send a sell or short order. Here you can see that we're clicking on a price below the current market, sending a buy order. We can then use the arrow here to adjust our limit price. We can also cancel this order by clicking on the X here. Now I'll hit the same hotkey and enter the same amount of shares, 150, and I'll click on a price above the current market and you can see that a sell, a short order, has been sent instead of a buy. Chart Market Orders We start off at the Chart Order category on the hotkey script builder and we'll construct an example of a market order. We start off the same by entering our account number and then assign a route of market. Again, if your version of DAS doesn't support market route, you would alternatively choose a route that ends in M, which stands for market. We'll set this up to input our shares again, and give it a time of force of day, then give it a proper syntax of new order space market. We'll assign it a hotkey of control V, and give it a name, and hit commit. Here's the hotkey we've just created, and I'll go ahead and click OK to save the hotkey and exit out. Moving over to the chart, we'll do a left click to select it, and then strike our hotkey. The input field appears to enter our shares. For example, I'll do a thousand shares and hit enter. Then you can see the cursor change into an arrow with an M, and consistent with our previous example, the buy or sell action will depend on where we click relative to the market. Clicking below the market will send a buy order, and clicking above will send a sell market. Here we'll click below and you can see that the market buy was sent and now we're long a thousand shares as shown in our positions window. If we strike the hotkey again and enter our shares, and then click above the current market, it sends a sell market order, liquidating our position. Chart Stop Limit Order Again, starting off at the chart order category of the hotkey script builder, 
we'll show you an example of a stop limit order. We'll start off with our account number again and we'll enter the route of stop. For shares, we'll set the most common scenario of POS, which stands for position. We'll use the same time and force. And for our order type, we'll type in new order space stop limit. Then we'll assign it a hotkey and give it a name and hit commit. Here you can see the hotkey we've just created. And we'll go ahead and hit OK to save the hotkey configuration. Moving on, we'll do a left click here to select the chart. And then we'll hit our hotkey and you can see that our shares are now populated with our position. The arrow is also showing an S, indicating that it's ready for us to select a price where we want to put our stop trigger to be. For stops, clicking below the market will set your sell stop trigger price, while clicking above the market will set a buy stop trigger price. Since we are long in this position, we'll set a sell stop by clicking below the market. And after we've clicked on our trigger price, you can see that the arrow now has an L next to it, indicating that we're ready to set our limit price on the stop. And after the second click, both our trigger and limit prices are set, and we can use the arrows to adjust the prices of either one. And also clicking on the X will cancel the order. I just want to point out that if we had set this order up to be a stop market order, all we would need to do is do a single click to set the trigger price, and the order would be sent. Chart stop range order. For our last example, we'll set up a stop range order. Again, we'll start off with the same account number, stop route, shares, and time and force as the previous example. For the order type, we'll input new order space stop range, one word, and then we'll assign it a hotkey and give it a name. And once that's all set, we'll hit commit. You can see our hotkey here, and then we'll hit OK to save our hotkey and exit out. Moving over to the chart, we'll strike our hotkey, which is preloaded with our position of 1,000 shares. The arrow here has an X next to it, indicating that the first price we click on will be our stop. Now clicking on the price below the market will indicate a sell stop range order, while clicking above will be a buy stop range order. Since we're long the SPY, we'll click on the price below and set our low stop price. Once that happens, the arrow immediately changes to an L, which prompts us to set our limit or target price for this sell stop order. And once we've selected our high price, you can see the brackets around the current market price here, indicating that our order was sent. Since this is a range order, if either one of these orders are hit, the other order is cancelled. And of course, like all the other examples, we can use the arrows to adjust the prices on our order, or we can just hit X to cancel. Thank you for joining our Dash Trader Tips video on chart trading, which adds even more flexibility in placing and managing your trades efficiently. Please join us on our other videos as we showcase all the many features of the Dash Trader platform. Thanks again for joining us.